Hi guys, you probably know I've been doing a series of paper aeroplanes from the complete book of paper aeroplanes by David Woodruff. There's about 90 different designs in there. But I've had a request from somebody whose name I'm not going to attempt to pronounce. Well, I could attempt. Malarithi, Malarithi Harish Pujari. Apologies, I can't have got that right. He wanted me to make a paper plane and put a paper propeller on it. Now, I could get very technical and try and make one of those really lightweight ones, lightweight rubber band powered aeroplanes, but that would take me forever. And I like to try and get my projects done in less than an hour. So I'm not going to try and make a, a fancy one. What did cross my mind was I've got a couple of these sets of paper planes which I haven't even looked at yet. I don't know if the, they're complete in there or whether somebody's had some of them out or not. I bought them in charity shops. These are well recommended. They're supposed to be excellent. But I've just never got round to trying them out. I will at some time but not at this moment. I was looking at the examples on the back. I'll just hold them up so you can see them. And I noticed that one has got a paper propeller on it. And the penny dropped and I thought, yeah, I could put one, put a paper propeller on one of these gliders it doesn't have to be rubber band powered to actually try and power the aeroplane. It could just be one of those ones that spins as it goes along. So I think I'll have a go at doing that. So rather than try and spend a lot of time making a very nice indoor aeroplane made from paper with a rubber band on it to actually power it, I was going to see if I can just make one of some sort of shape that I can put, say, a propeller on it that will spin as we throw it and it goes along. Now I was thinking I might cheat a little bit. I've got some paper straws here. So I might join them together so I've got a fuselage. And then just have a standard shaped aeroplane. A couple of wings, tail, in and maybe see if we can put a propeller on the front on a pin or something so it will spin round as I throw it. No idea if it will work. He wants me to do a tutorial on how to do it. Well that's not going to happen. I'm going to show you what I do and see if it works. If it works then it was a tutorial. If it wasn't if it doesn't work then it was a tutorial on how not to do it. So I'll have a little think as to what I'm going to do. Right, what can we do with this? A couple of wings would be handy. Obviously I'm just thinking this out as I'm going along. Well, that's our paper glider with a propeller. I need a bit of weight on the front.
as soon as it hits anything that's going to break. Trying to get the balance about halfway, halfway across, from front to back, maybe a third of the way from the front. bit windy outside but I am going to go and throw it outside. Let's just get a picture of it before we do that because I don't expect it to last very long. That should do for the thumbnail. Right, I seriously don't expect this to last very long. Which way's the wind? Well, that's the way of the wind. In that case, we better put the propeller, the camera over there. That propeller is actually stopping it flying, it's too big. I don't think we can class this as a sensible or serious aeroplane, but it was a bit of fun trying to put it together, do something that had a paper propeller on it, and yeah, it sort of works. <laughs> That'll do. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there and you might like to subscribe over there. <laughs>